Hi there, I'm in Buckinghamshire with Mike Bowers and he's uh, rang me up just to say that he thinks he's on a scattered hoard of Gallienus and Tetricus um, Roman coins. Now I'm pretty sure from where I am that this is a well-known hoard uh, found back in the um, 1800s uh, while guys were actually putting in drainage. Um, we, we've always wondered where it was and from what he showed me I'm pretty sure that it is going to be here. So um, a well-known hoard, completely lost, nobody knew where it was uh, but it looks like he may have found it. So uh, let's, uh, let's get over to Mike and see him dig up one of these coins. Okay, so you can see there's a few holes already there's uh, definitely a lot of coins coming off so uh, he's got a, a signal here this will be the first bit of, bit of foil or you know the, the, the law of sod and all that one here oh he's got a coin so it's not going to be a is that two stuck together yes yeah, two stuck together there, yeah that's that can pretty much confirms it then uh this is definitely a hoard and okay i i don't if if it is the the known hoard I don't think you're going to find a pot, Mike. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll warn you now. Uh, if you do find a pot, then this is nothing to do with the original hoard. Right, okay. Which would be better. Yeah, for you. <laughs> now you say you've been detecting this field many times. Uh, with not a lot of uh, success. So no, what you? Hammered. So what do you? Why do you think uh, suddenly you're on a hoard spot? Just for the sheer amount of Romans and no, never but, have Roman coins here. Yeah, but why do you think? Why did suddenly do you think you're finding them? Hundred percent hoard spot. They were buried here without a doubt. You walked over them, mate. You walked well, over them. That's why. Well, I was the lucky one, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've walked through here how many times? There's another good, another signal in here. You can see it in there. Another one. Again, another, another coin. Recover these. It's uh, now become a recovery job rather than a proper metal detecting uh, bit prospecting. It's now recovery. So there you go. There's a handful. He's quickly found, and I've got two stuck together, which is still here. Yeah. So that's where we're up to so far. Uh, they're not the greatest coins, but you can identify them. I, I actually saw a couple of coins that could easily be identified. And uh, all found with the CTX with the standard coil. I think later on you'll be putting on the bigger coil just to see if you can find that pot a little bit deeper. If That's it's still actually there. three together there. There you go, three. That's the way to get the numbers up. Yeah, three at a time. Yeah, there's three there. Well, well done. Thank you very much. See what else we can find. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Well, that's it. A couple of hours detecting. And... Uh, it was definitely hoard. There's no, definitely no pot. As as I didn't, I didn't think there was. Be I, I thought this was going to be the original hoard, but we managed. Um, what do you reckon? About 140 coins, probably around that region. Yeah. So and there they all are. Uh, there's not not any any coins that are going to light up the numismatic world. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you that was a bit of lead. That was. Where the hell did you put that in there? That might have just come out of my pocket. <laughs> Bit of mud. But there you go. Maybe some more. Roman coins. Uh, oh, they seem to be Claudian, um, Tetricus, uh, Gallienus. Uh, a few cluster ones. Yeah. And there's a, I think we've got some like five stuck together. Uh, that's it. But I mean, it's not going to be of any great value, but it's it's lovely to find, isn't it? It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. First hoard, loved it. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Thanks for your help. <laughs>